Thanks, Christy. First of all, we are now the Capital One Orange Bowl, and I want to welcome everybody to this afternoon's call. Uh, we have our two head coaches, Coach Dan Mullen of Mississippi State and Coach Paul Johnson of Georgia Tech. Before we get started, I want to remind media that uh, you can apply for credentials and reserve hotel rooms at our media headquarters, the Renaissance Fort Lauderdale Cruise Port. Uh, just log on to orangebowl.org backslash pressbox. If you'd like to ask a question later on, you can enter the queue by pressing star on your telephone. And now, uh, special congratulations to Coach Mullen and Coach Johnson for earning berths in the 2014 Capital One Orange Bowl. We're excited to be able to host these two great programs. Mississippi State comes into the game ranked seventh by the CFP Selection Committee with a 10-2 overall record and a 6-2 SEC record, while Georgia Tech is ranked 12th at 10-3 overall and 6-2 in the ACC. This game is going to be played on New Year's Eve, Wednesday, December 31st at Sun Life Stadium and televised by ESPN at 8.10 p.m. We anticipate a game featuring some offensive fireworks. Both teams average more than 37 points per game. Georgia Tech is first nationally in third down efficiency, third in rushing yards per game, 18th in scoring offense, while Mississippi State ranks fifth in total offense and 15th in scoring offense. Both teams are also solid defensively. Georgia Tech is second nationally in defensive touchdowns and 15th in turnover margin, while Mississippi State is 10th nationally in scoring defense. This is Georgia Tech's seventh appearance in the Orange Bowl. Most recently, they were here in 2010. And it's the third appearance for Mississippi State, but the first since 1941. And the teams have also met four times in their history, most recently in 2009 when these coaches hooked up. Congratulations to both schools, and we look forward to hosting you both. We'll now turn it over to the coaches for brief remarks before we open it up for questions. First, Coach Dan Mullen of Mississippi State with the visiting team in the 2014 Capital One Orange Bowl. Coach Mullen. Yes. I'm so uh, I, 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 we're so excited uh, as, as a program. I know it's the first time since 1941 that we've been uh, be, been involved in this game. And uh, uh, you know, when you look at, at the games, um, the opportunity to go play in games, the Capital One Orange Bowl, uh, the, the history involved in that game, uh, how special a game it is, and, and to know that uh, uh, New Year's Eve night, um, you know, we are the, the the game that's on that the whole country is going to be watching is uh, very very special, and uh, I couldn't be happier to play. Uh, another uh, powerhouse traditional team uh, like Georgia Tech. Uh, I know for all of our players, they're, they're very, very excited. I don't know if they could be happier with going to any other bowl game uh, out there. And uh, uh, our program is really uh, honored to be a part of this game. Thank you, Coach. And now Coach Paul Johnson with some opening remarks. Well, thank you. Uh, on behalf of the Georgia Tech football program, we'd like to thank the Capital One Orange Bowl for uh, in inviting us to play. Congratulations to Coach Mullen and, and the Mississippi State Bulldogs, who are an outstanding football team, and, and what he's done in Starkville speaks for itself. Uh, it's one of the goals of our program to uh, get to the Orange Bowl game every year, and it's been since 2010 since we had a chance to play there, and everybody here in Atlanta and at Georgia Tech understands uh, the, uh, I guess, hospitality and everything that goes that's involved with uh, coming to Miami to play. So our players and fan base and everybody uh, that supports Georgia Tech is excited to have this opportunity. Thank you, Coach. And, Christy, if you want to open it up now for uh, for question and answer. At this time, if you would like to ask a question, please press star, then the number one on your telephone keypad. Again, that's star, then the number one. We'll pause for just a moment to compile the Q&A roster. And your first question comes from the line of Michael Bonner with Clarion Ledger. Yes, this question is for uh, Paul Johnson. Uh, Paul, what did you know or how much did you know about Mississippi State uh, heading into this, this matchup? Well, we haven't. Uh, we don't know a whole lot other than I've had the opportunity to watch them play uh, uh, a couple of times this season. I've been very impressed. Uh, you know, everybody knows about Dak Prescott and, and what he's done. And, uh, you know, I know that they were ranked number one in the country for about three or four weeks there. So, uh, tremendous team, uh, you know, some outstanding individual players, and uh, a lot of respect for, for what they've done there. So as the days move along, we'll start to, to get further involved in, uh, in researching and trying to break down uh, what they do. 
Again, that is star one if you would like to ask a question at this time. Your next question comes from the line of Tim Reynolds with Associated Press. Hey, good afternoon, gentlemen. Congratulations to you both. This question is for Coach Mullen. Um, Dan, you guys were 10, I guess, coming into the day in the, in, in the CFP rankings, and you jumped to seven. Were you a little bit surprised by how far you jumped, and were you a little bit surprised to find out that, uh, that Miami is going to be your destination? Uh, no, we're we're very pleased. You know, to be honest, with you, I, I don't, I, I have no idea how the the committee does everything, how they kind of worked it all out. Uh, you know, uh, to be honest, with you, I, the strength of schedule is kind of more surprised. We were at number ten last week off of our strength of schedule and the quality wins we have over top twenty five teams and three wins over top ten teams um, in comparison to some of the other teams that had jumped us. Um, but uh, you know, I, I the uh, I, I know for us, we we felt this was an unbelievable destination for us to go to, and uh, this is a, you know, if you went and asked all our players uh, what ball game they wanted to go, this would be their number one choice, and uh, you know, and we're thrilled to be involved in going to this game. And if I may follow up for Coach Johnson, uh, Paul, everyone saw the effort you guys, you know, that you guys just left, as they say, I guess it all out there last night. How? Uh, are you worried at all about what it's going to take to emotionally reload here over these next three weeks and get your kids ready for this one? Well, I don't think so. Our kids have been really resilient all year, and uh, the one thing that we've been able to count on is the effort and that they play hard. And uh, I know that they're going to be excited. As I said earlier, this was uh, you know, one of our goals at the beginning of the year to uh, you know, get to the Orange Bowl. And normally you have to win our league championship game, but uh, you know, fortunately for us, uh, like Mississippi State, one of the team who won our league is going to the playoffs, so we were able to uh, to get in the bowl, and they're, they're going to be ecstatic about it and excited, and uh, to have a chance to play a quality opponent, uh, like I said, one that's been ranked in the top ten pretty much all year and been number one, uh, will be a huge challenge for our guys that I know they'll look forward to. Thank you both. Your next question comes from the line of Ken Cigarro with Capital One Orange Bowl. Hey, uh, question for Paul. I'm, I'm curious, do you guys, do you and uh, Coach Mullen know each other from, from visits from Utah when you were at Navy? Is there... uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question, Ken. Do you and uh, Coach Mullen have a relationship just, uh, you know, from, from visits, you know, I guess when, when Coach Mullen was at uh, Utah? Uh, I don't think we ever really visited. We probably talked some on the phone when Urban was there. I re- I remember when I was at Navy visiting with uh, with them on the line some, and uh, I think the guy that was maybe at Utah was uh, Mike Sanford, maybe or or something like that. When when I was talking to Irvin when he was there, uh, Dan might have a recollection. I'm I'm not. Seems like I can't remember yesterday sometimes. <laughs> Coach Mullen, is there anything you want to add, or you can remember? Yeah, you know, I, I know uh, we did. We, you know, I know as a staff, we had talked to Paul, and uh, and and he was, uh, you know, he was great to our staff when we were out there. And uh, you know, I've got to, uh, I've got to, to to cross paths with them. I know when we played them uh, here, my my first year as head coach here at Mississippi State. Uh, you know, I remember Paul did was uh, was unbelievable. Our program, we lost a player the following year. Uh, we, when we lost one of our players, Nick Bell passed, and uh, and Paul reached out, and uh, you know I thought that was that was very special. Something that always sticks with you because it's one of the hardest things you'll ever go through as a coach to lose someone in your program. And uh, but uh, you know it, our paths have crossed. Just that those different times uh, uh, a lot. I guess uh, when I was trying to come up in my coaching career, obviously all the success that he'd had over the long term as someone that uh, you looked up to of of how they ran a program and how how great uh, he had done things and the success he had had in winning. Thanks. Again, that is star one if you would like to ask a question at this time. <clears throat> and there are no further questions. Alrighty. I do apologize. There is one Barrett Sally with the Bleacher Report. Congratulations to both of you. This question uh, is for Dan. Uh, Dan, I know you haven't really had a chance to to really get into tech film yet, but just generally speaking, you know, with, with your experience, what kind of uh, you know challenges does a triple option team like that present, and how do you feel just you know in general your your defense would match up against a team that does that? Uh, well, you know, I mean, we're. we're 
one thing I'll feel good about, we you know, we try to be a very sound defense, and you have to be extremely disciplined and sound when you're going to play an option football team. Uh, you know, and, and we, you know, we've run some option, uh, you know, I'll be a very different uh, style maybe than, than what, uh, what Paul does at Georgia Tech. Uh, for our guys, you know, I, I think one of the biggest challenges that, that presents is you look at the discipline in which they run their offense, the exactness of which they run their offense. Uh, and the big challenge is simulating what they do in a practice format and, uh, you know, getting guys out there on the field uh, to do that and, and with the uniqueness of the offense they run to simulate that for your guys so that they can get the game reps and practice here in the, you know, in the next three or four weeks leading up into the game uh, that our guys, we can get that look to prepare our defense the right way. Do you have any idea who you might use as scout team quarterback to simulate that? Uh, you know, we might go. We have a, a freshman that we're registered this year, Nick Fitzgerald, and and he ran uh, an option offense in high school. Um, you know, so I think he would probably be our best guy to do that because he has a little bit of background of of running option football. Thank you. We have a follow up question from the line of Ken Cigar with Capital One Orange Bowl. Uh, Coach Johnson, I've already. Do you know what your schedule is going to be going forward? I know. Uh, you guys have the final exams, and you guys are going on the road. Do you know how you figure out what the kind of plan will be for practice and so forth? Uh, yeah, we started to put that together this afternoon. Uh, you know, I'm going to give the guys off until Thursday because they're they're in final exams, and we, we wouldn't get much out of them anyway. So right. we'll have a team meeting on Thursday and, and put together and start to practice on Thursday a little bit, clean up the last game and some conditioning and lifting, and then, We'll get uh, full flow into it this weekend and, you know, go through up until whenever we decide to let them go home for Christmas. I think that, uh, you know, it depends a lot on how much we can get done. And uh, then right now my plans would be to try to practice here through the – let them go home for a few days, bring them back on the 26th, practice here, and then go to Miami that night on the 26th. Okay. And uh, the guys uh, who who were taken out of the game, uh, Tony and uh, Brian Chamberlain and the other, uh, are they okay? Do you expect they'll be able to play? Or? Well, we won't we won't know. Well, they didn't have to report since we didn't play next week. They okay. didn't have to come in until five to the training room. But uh, I don't think we lost anybody seriously for the, for the long term. I think that they'll be okay for the bowl game. Right. Thanks. And once again, that is star one if you would like to ask a question at this time. And your next question comes from the line of Nate, Nate Taylor with Sun Signal. Hi, guys. This is, uh, this is for both coaches. Um, you guys are both have, um, I believe it's 10 wins. Uh, what would it say to have an 11-win season and then to end the, end the, and then end the season with the, with the Orange Bowl victory? I'll, you know, I'll go first. I, you okay. know, I mean, obviously, uh, uh, it, it would be special. I think, you know, I mean, the, the opportunity when you're when you're playing in, in the Capital One Orange Bowl, obviously, you've had a special season, and uh, you know, and I think uh, you look at both teams that that we have. I mean, you look back and the success that we've had this year. It's a special season for everybody, and uh, obviously, you'd love to, uh, you know, to finish it off with that win, that leave that that taste in your mouth over. You don't get to play. We won't get to play again for nine months, and uh, I know both teams and. The, the seniors and everybody puts so much into the game to get that final win and finish off uh, a special season with a bowl win, um, you know, special for the player, special for the program, and the whole university, the pride that they take in that moving forward. Well, I would echo what, what Dan said. I think for us, uh, you know, to put the exclamation point on what would be a, a great year, and I think both both of us uh, are coming off a loss in our last game, you know, a tough tough one for both teams. And, uh, you know, you'd like to have that win to springboard you into the next season and into spring football and, and, and all those things. And I think I was looking today for, for us here at Georgia Tech with all the history and all the tradition that we have here, I think this would be maybe the fifth team that could win 11 games in a year. So, uh, you know, it would be special. Uh, we realize it's going to be a huge challenge, and I'm, I'm sure that uh, Mississippi State wants to win 11 games just as much as we do. So uh, that ought to be a heck of a game. All right, I want to thank everybody today for being on the call, especially Coach Mullen and Coach Johnson. 
Two reminders. Uh, first of all, there will be a press conference with both head coaches in attendance at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel in Hollywood this Wednesday at 4 p.m. Also, for credentials and hotel reservations, log on to orangebowl.org slash pressbox. And I want to thank you all for being with us today and uh, look forward to seeing you at the Capital One Orange Bowl. Thank you. This concludes today's conference call. You may now disconnect.